Now, Cincinnati's News 5 tonight. Good evening. At this hour, the plan is to convert the Zimmer power plant from nuclear to coal. Now, if you're wondering how that may affect you, think about this. The move to coal will cost each customer of CG&E, on average, an extra $200 a year. And those bills will continue to come year after year after year. News 5's Jeff Hirsch was the only Cincinnati reporter on hand in Louisville, where the Army Corps of Engineers gave the green light to sink nearly another $2 billion into Zimmer. It has already cost $1.7 billion to make Zimmer. Those rates will not go up until after coal-fired Zimmer goes online in 1991. Jeff Hirsch, News 5 Tonight. Now, not everyone is overjoyed that Zimmer is being converted. In fact, officials in Dayton are considering a lawsuit to block that conversion to coal. And they may ask Cincinnati to join in that lawsuit. All stations. In Covington tonight, a political beginning. That city's new mayor chaired his first commission meeting tonight, promising to clean up Covington. Our Northern Kentucky Bureau Chief Clyde Gray was at that meeting and joins us now live with more information. Clyde, how'd that first meeting go? Jerry, apparently it went pretty well. Ron Turner has a million dollar project. Covington has been asked to pay for a $100,000 parking facility to go along with that. Jerry? Okay, thank you, Clyde. Clyde Gray reporting live from Northern Kentucky. Toya? In Columbus. News 5 on the Night Beat. Thanks, John. Up next on News 5 tonight, you'll see how Irish eyes are smiling in our area. And why they're frowning in Washington. We'll be right back. Congressional investigators looking into the Iran-Contra scandal have made a key decision this evening. They have tentatively given limited immunity from prosecution to former National Security Advisor John Poindexter and his aide, Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North. Now, this afternoon, Poindexter was ordered to testify before a House subcommittee, but Poindexter pleaded his Fifth Amendment rights as ordered by his attorney who was scolded by the committee's It's chairman. a matter of indulgence of the subcommittee, and you're kind of crowding it. I understand Just a little bit. And just a little bit more, and we're going to cut you off. Now, that limited immunity will allow North and Poindexter to testify openly before congressional hearings in May. We'll put an Irish cane. Well, the Irish celebration in our area tonight continued. News 5's Michael Collins found out on the night beat that on St. Patrick's Day, there's a little bit of the Irish in all of us. No matter where you went in our town today, as it is the parties that make us all Irish. In Cincinnati, Michael Collins, News 5 Tonight. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so. I think we ought to apologize to the Irish for that rendition. Thank I you, Michael so. O'Collins. Well, will the luck of the Irish bring some sunshine in the next few days? Pat will have the latest on our area weather. That's a pretty green dress. And the Reds contend with some good news and some bad news. You'll see why it's rented when we return. <laughs> and what a beautiful day to be really celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Uh -huh. You're sitting in a course for Norma, who has not had a baby yet. That's right. Case. Maybe in a couple days. Yes, that's what's expected. Uh, yeah. Patrick Gerald, is that what it is? No, Gerald Patrick. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going to fight about Norma's baby. You know, day. she may have Might a girl, guys. I hate to tell you, she might Patty. have a girl. Geraldine. Weather. <laughs> 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 nice day for the Irish. Uh, you know that it is... <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. Jerry? Sorry, that's a very pretty dress. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're talking about the reds here, and uh, speaking of red dresses, these are red uniforms, and unfortunately, right. some sad news with one of the players. Well, um, yeah, because he was really on the spot this year. I mean, everybody, the fans and the media, everybody on him, and Big you don't power back. Yeah. The drive, Doc Rivers Doc goes up, Rivers. boing, <laughs> but the Hawks win it big tonight, 118 to 98 in Atlanta. Great play by Spud Webb. Oh, listen, yeah. you know, it's true. A lot of guys at that point, they, you know, cash it That's in. Right. And, he just keeps hustling. Three cheers to the little guys. Hip, hip. Hooray. That's all. Okay. Thanks. Okay. No, it's fun, huh? <laughs> Sorry. Well, Zimmer, Jerry has some thoughts on new life at Zimmer in his commentary. That's next on News 5 Tonight. <music> Zimmer's conversion to a coal-fired plant will continue to raise controversy in our area. Jerry has some thoughts on today's decision in his commentary tonight. Thanks, Toria. When Zimmer was first proposed, there was great fear about the building of a nuclear power plant in our area. But as it turns out, of course, more people died of boredom over the issue than radiation. 
for as a reality, Zimmer got nuked, victimized by mismanagement and inadequate attention to public safety concerns. It is the nuclear power plant that never was, sitting idly by in Moscow, Ohio, a concrete monument to failure, having produced literally no energy other than the 15 years of litigation and meetings and marches over what that plant should or should not be. Indeed, the mere burnings of the legal brief should be enough to heat our town for a generation. And though this white elephant will now never even give us a kilowatt of nuclear-produced power, the debate still rages on over what to do with it. That question is relevant because so far, $1.7 billion has been spent. Now, cg e has been leading the charge to convert this never-used facility into a coal-fired plant. On the surface, that seems eminently reasonable. We'll need energy in our future. Nuclear power is now either too expensive or too dangerous or too unreliable. So let's see if we can turn this mistake into an energy-producing coal-fired plant. But there may have been cheaper solutions. There's been significant testimony and evidence that it'd be much cheaper to build a coal plant from scratch rather than trying to convert the boondoggle of Zimmer over to coal. It may also be significantly cheaper for CG&E to purchase power over the grid system on a long-term contract. Experts believe that's available, and it's a lot less costly than building a new plant that would only last 25 years anyway. Also, with major plants such as GM leaving the area, we may be facing a declining usage base, which means we don't need a huge power plant, all of which raises the question. If these possible solutions are cheaper, why does CG&E push to convert Zimmer to coal? Here's one possibility. If they don't convert Zimmer, then CG&E and the other utility owners will have to pick up the whole $1.7 billion loss. But if they do convert it, even though that may be a more expensive solution, they can pass a major portion of the cost on to you and me, the consumer. And there we have it. You see, the issue has never been making power. It's making money. That's all the time we have for now. Thanks for watching. From all of us here on News 5 in the red and the green, take care of yourself and each other. Good night. Good night. Steve Island's 1987 season opens tomorrow. Judy Olsenbrooks, News 5. Well, the Park 16 season will also teach a brand new ice show in the best house. That's right, bigger stage in the summer. Thanks for that. So far, three Marines have been arrested in that case, but given that, the Pentagon's not taking any chances. Closer to home tonight, there's a publication in our area. A newspaper is fun, exciting, and isn't that hard to start. This is Steve Bailey, News 5, on the night beat. Aww. Good job. It isn't yeah. so tough to start a television station either. That kid's got a future. That's true. That's my true. My job. Up next on News 5 tonight, a strange leader in the Masters Golf Tournament. And if you're hoping to get some sun this weekend, you could be in for a surprise. We'll be right back. You in TV newscaster mode. Right. After I was mayor, I became the uh, news anchor, which is how I got the job as a talk show host. But I guess what you're looking at now is me as a news anchor. Um, I'm sorry about that video. <laughs> uh, Toria, uh, who uh, I was anchoring with, is, I understand, Ray told me she's pregnant in that... Uh, the video, we, have, we haven't seen a good shot of her yet, but we, we oh, hope good. to. Well, so did, I hope did, she was. I hope I'm not saying that she was heavy. <laughs> <laughs> did Ray and Toria actually date? I have no idea, and certainly I, I would never say such a thing. I, w I will have both of them on the talk show, though, <laughs> and then we'll reveal everything. This is the fourth year the teachers have been honored with a recognition breakfast. Which are the students and teachers at Delshire Elementary School to be published by the U.S. Department of Education. Isn't that nice? A remarkable young man. Bright little boy. Coming up next on News 5 at Mason in Warren In baseball County. news. Our officials of the Japanese company announced their plans today, saying the plant will bring 200 new jobs, jobs to be filled by local people. That's just the kind of news people in Mason want to hear. It's especially good news for local schools, which can expect a wealth of new property taxes from the plant. Being in this district for 20 years, you know, uh, we have seen progress come slow. And uh, this is one of the biggest things that's happened to us for a long time, you know. Now, the company isn't taking any job applications just yet, although the new plant is sure to make a dent in Warren County 6.3% unemployment rate. Mo. Your public library is a storehouse of action, adventure, intrigue, heroics, and fun. It's a place to get the facts, to learn, to broaden your horizons. 
But sadly, 44% of all Americans who can read a book simply choose not to. And the number's rising. Good books can be an important part of your life. They can spark your imagination, guide you through new territory. They can make you laugh or cry. Pick one up at your local library. Books do make a difference. Together with Norma Rashid, he took the newscast to number one. By 1987, a 43-year-old newsman was regularly being named best TV anchor in Cincinnati. So, as I thank you tonight for the best anchor honor, as well as for accepting me in this dual role, I also must thank my bosses. First, because they deserve it. Second, because they may be watching. And thirdly, you Jerry enjoyed his local celebrity, turning up at golf tournaments, sporting events. Springer, a former news anchor himself, calls Marine's decision arrogant through his second career as a TV anchor man. Eight days ago, the bus drivers went on strike. Despite no TV experience, Springer's editorials made his station number one. With the mayor, this is Michael Collins, News 5, on the Night Beat. I suppose I can assume this won't be on the network. No, I don't. I think that's a good assumption. <laughs> oh, our apologies to the mayor. Yeah, we're, we should apologize to us for that. Still ahead on News 5 tonight, the cards and... Good evening, I'm Jerry Springer. And I'm Norma Rashid. Coming up next on News 5 at 530, the sounds of warning sirens can soon be heard in the community surrounding the Fernald plant. We'll explain their purpose. Also, the friendly skies are again a war zone as another airfares war heats up, one you could win. Plus, we'll show you how the state of Ohio is trying to make buying a home easier. We'll have these stories, sports, and the weekend forecast all coming your way next on News 5 at 5.30. Please join us. Well, a man who says he's been a chain smoker since he was 13 tonight is waiting to find out if a court will give him the decision he wants. Floyd Royston is suing R.J. Reynolds, claiming it was cigarette smoking that led to having his leg amputated. A panel of three federal judges has heard all the testimony in the case. The decision could take more than a year. Well, a decision that would eliminate $200 million from the nation's drug and alcohol education programs is worrying some local citizens tonight. CASA, or Citizens Against Substance Abuse, met today to discuss a government proposal that would cut dollars from local anti-drug and alcohol programs programs that would be lost without the money. Um, there's no way that we can uh, raise the amount of money needed for law enforcement in particular or even uh, help the schools in the way they need to be helped. The group is urging everyone to send letters to their congressmen in hopes of keeping the funding alive. Well, in northern Kentucky, a Boone County farmer charged with running a marijuana factory is headed for court today. And will go to London sometime after that. Jerry? I guess that makes it pretty important, the proposed Delta flight from Cincinnati to London that they're talking about. Jerry, you bet. Almost without fail, everyone that we've talked with about economic development in northern Kentucky points to the need for that Japan to London, or that Cincinnati to London direct flight. And Tuesday night when she was in Covington, Governor Collins also let it slip that she'd like to see people be able to fly from uh, the greater Cincinnati airport to Tokyo nonstop. Well, okay, we hope we get that development. Thank you. That is uh, Clyde Gray, Bureau Chief, reporting from the Northern Kentucky Bureau. This is made. And just ahead, we'll update you on the whereabouts of Church Envoy Terry Waite. Has he, too, become a hostage? Plus, Pat Berry joins us with a word of a flurry or two. His forecast is next. News 5 continues with Jerry Springer, Norma Rashid, Pat Berry's weather. Steve Fiziak has sports. Good evening. We could be on the brink of another real estate boom in Ohio. A boom sparked this time by $25 million in tax breaks. However, News 5's Judy Also Books tells us tonight, if you want to cash in on this, better get in line. Judy Also Books, News 5. Now, mortgage credit certificates will be issued to qualifying borrowers next Thursday on a first-come, first-served basis. For more information, you should call your mortgage lender. Norma. Now, you may have heard the old saying that bad luck comes in threes. Well, tonight at Cincinnati's University Hospital, they'd like to take exception with that. You see, as News 5's Lauren Chesley points out, in the past 24 hours, they've had three major transplants and three amazing successes. Lauren Chesley, News 5. Now, if you're interested in helping out with this blood shortage, Hawksworth says it needs all types of blood, and you can call them at 569-1175. It could help save a life. Let's hope they get a lot yes. of 
recipients there, people coming in and doing that. Still ahead, we'll tell you what the owners of the Fernal plant are saying in response to the watchdog group's report blasting the, rep the plant. Plus, you're the one who benefits from a new round of airfare wars, or are you? These stories are next. 30 years ago, even while they were being built, well, the company that owns Hanna-Barbera Productions and a portion of Kings Island is considering selling out. Taft Broadcasting Company says it's evaluating its entertainment group with an eye toward possibly selling all or part of the division. The review is being done because of the company's increased focus on their media interests. Well, saving money on airfares has not always been easy, but although discount airlines like People Express are disappearing, discount fares are not. This weekend, People Express will become part of Continental Airlines. And Call 5 reporter Noel Morgan shows us what to watch for as Continental launches the latest airfare war. We'll try to disguise the same package. Now, if you couldn't get through to Continental today, don't worry. The fun has just started. So far, American, Delta, United, and U.S. Air have all said they'll match Continental fare for fare. Are there any regulations in putting all those limitations and disclaimers in an ad? Well, like in Ohio, we've got rules that say all exclusions, limitations have to be clearly and conspicuously disclosed. We've got a good law on the books, but nobody really pays much attention to it. So the best you can do is make sure you know what you're getting before you call in for those reservations. Okay. I'll let you know before I fly someplace. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Noah. If you'd like any more information on all this or have any other consumer question, call 5 at 721-FIVE. They're open now till 730 and back open Monday beginning at 11 in the morning. Up next, sun and clouds, rain and snow, take your pick. Pat Berry says we're in for it all over the weekend. His forecast is next. Pat's warning of us, warning us of windy, 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 huh? Yeah, it's windy out there. We've got some flurries, and I think it doesn't have to be roses or red, violets or blue. It's going to snow on you. No, it doesn't have to be like that. No. I like that I, one, though. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you, Thanks. Pat. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Pat. We've now been told, looks like it's going to be cold. <laughs> Just ahead, a Northern Kentucky man may be up for a White House job, and in sports, nearly a million dollars a year. That's the off on the table to get the winning Super Bowl coach to change teams. And that's coming up next. Congratulations. Congratulations yeah. and good luck. And now we are talking about, oh, congratulations, of course, to UC last That's night. That's right. And to Xavier. A, a, just a great basketball game that was everything we thought it'd be. That's true. And more. More. That sounds like a commercial, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's talk about Wait, it. Why do you think they call it Dolly? Well, it is America's Cup, ain't it? <laughs> got a bad idea. <laughs> There you have it from Dolly Parton and Brian Gumbel this morning on Today. We just had to get that in for you. Yeah, well, uh, I'll leave that alone. Uh, yeah, no, good I'm... idea. We'll be back to wrap things up after this. What led local police investigators to a major drug operation in our area? You'll find out on News 5 tonight at 11. Also tonight, what's the best-selling beer in the country? You might be surprised. And the Queen City welcomes a rock and roll star that's beginning to shine in other areas, too. J.D.? Jerry, plenty of prep basketball shining in our area. We'll have the highlights for you tonight at 11. Pat? Well, some of these flurries will give us a little bit of a dusting. Could make it slippery in some isolated spots. Be careful out there. Some sunshine by tomorrow afternoon. Norma, Jerry? That's good news. Yeah. That's all the time we have to be with you. Thank you for being with us. We'll be back tonight at 11. Until then, take care of yourself and each other. Good night. Good night. Take one, Q. Um, Good evening, I'm Clyde Gray. Ready to zoom on one. Rashid, who's on maternity leave. And I'm Jerry Springer. One, Cincinnati zoom. apartment well, dwellers got up. a ready reprieve to two. tonight ready camera from two. a city council that until now had been ready to cut off their city garbage collection. Q, take two. Ready, Matt. Matt, ready to dissolve Monday, virus but it's two. Five's Dave Robinson. Dissolve. Night beat. Clear. Ready to roll 15. Roll 15. 15. Ready 15. Sound full. Sound take. Dave Robinson, ready camera three. On the night take three. Now the apartment ready association to zoom. says tonight's decision by council is good news for renters and also for owners. Three zoom. Ready to two Jerry's mic. Ready roll sixteen. Roll sixteen. Ready sixteen. Voice over natural. Monica Lemon. Take since Saturday, three, Matt. police have been Matt, digging Yellow through the rumpy up. landfill in hopes of finding her body. Clear. Next Followed coming to one on Jerry Fool. Murdering her 24-year-old John Fryman. He reportedly told police he put the body into a dumpster after cutting ready, off the Ready camera one on Jerry. Ready to roll fifteen. Tonight tell us they probably won't search again 
tomorrow. Take one, ready to roll. The search yeah. for roll 15, ready 15, voice over. Continue tomorrow. Okay, the ready, Matt, Matt, coming back to camera one. While the jury deliberated. Clear, ready Those one. Deliberations okay. began Friday okay. afternoon. Take one. Former home state one to three on Clyde. Ready, camera three, ready to roll 16. Criminally misapplying the bank's money. Which Ready led three. To the state collapse in 1985. Take three, Clyde. One. Although he could suffer diminished physical and mental capacity. Take one. Now they're going to keep checking up on him for at Stay. least Ready, bump ten music. years. What a heart heartwarming story, though. It's good to see it turned out so well. Still ahead bump of music. five tonight. Why a trip down the aisle in northern Kentucky could mean a trip to the hospital. Clyde's mic. And the latest on three dead bodies street. found in a Clifton apartment building tonight. We'll be right back with Dissolve. those stories. Dissolve one, Q Jerry, ready roll fifteen, roll fifteen, ready fifteen, voice over natural. Tonight in Clifton. Take the bodies of Clifton, two males and a mad. female were found shot to death in an apartment at five forty four Dixmith Avenue. Clear, ready camera two on Clyde. Time, nor any name. Take two, Q Clyde. Two Jerry's mic. In Washington today, the United Next States Supreme to Court ruled in favor of seatbelt legislation. The high court found that the state of Illinois could require drivers to wear them. Ready, Q to one. Ready, camera one. Who don't could be fined if they are caught traveling without. Q, it. take one. Ready, roll fifteen. Roll fifteen. Ready, fifteen. Voice over natural. Today, take about fifteen. One is two shot T's. Next, we're coming to three and Clyde's full. Yellow lights up. One man said he realized his Russian car. Ready, camera three with Clyde's mic. Money he could make. In the United States. Take three, Clyde. The point of the series then seems to be that after seven grueling nights of viewing, we never really even did get the country back. For that seven. matter, neither did ABC. Five seconds. Michael ready, camera one. Five on the night beat. Take one, cue him. You, you know, not because it happens to be on a different network, but I watched the last portion of it. I was disappointed. Roundly, soundly disappointed. <laughs> No, I already gave my opinion in the commentary. <laughs> when we Bump return music. on News 5 tonight, you'll see if the Reds veterans True. are expecting a banner year. And if it's on fact. the way, Pat will have the area forecast. Hopefully it's good news. Stay with us. It's all two mics. It looks like everybody's having a good with us. We've, we missed Ready the camera three. Nice. Certain weatherman forecast that, as a matter of fact, like three of the shot. original scoreboard. Now, Ready camera if one. If it goes well, the field will be dedicated in May of this year. Take one. Hopefully by Ready to zoom past the Reds doing and a bunch of other sports things. Oh, it'll be great. They ought to get people on the for our first ball. And zoom pass Clyde. Ready mix two. Just ready one. to pan. Right. Yeah, just one to take. If they have major league dimensions. Yeah. Exactly. Let's talk about basketball. Big game today, Miami. Yes, yeah. indeed. They got the revenge Torch. because he will move into the front office for the Kansas City Royals, but our best wishes go to Dick Hauser and his family. Definitely. We'll really include Clyde on one. He is a champion. Thanks, Steve. Clyde. Clyde's my bum we'll music. Ready to solve your facts, ready to please. That's all. Earlier tonight, we told Goodness. you how the abortion controversy has heated Freddy up came to one. with Freddy today's came one. discovery of what appeared to be a pipe bomb outside the Margaret Sanger abortion clinic. Q, take one. The community response to that one to Jerry. the subject of Jerry's commentary tonight. Jerry, thanks, One Clyde. Zoom. Now, in all Resolve fairness, most anti-abortion folks don't condone the outlaw of violence of a pipe bomb, real or hoax. However, in private conversations, more than a few will tell you that though the clinic bombings are wrong, the abortions that take place every day within the clinics, well, that's violence too, and that's just as bad. So we shouldn't be surprised if one about kind the... of violence invites another. This argument, of course, ignores the fact that whatever you may think about that story, we in the one America, we dropped, it in, uh... is legal. And bombing buildings or people. I doubt isn't. seriously they're going to so save the Washington snow. Let's use that case. Despite they can use the that argument tape. of violence begetting violence, <clears throat> of abortion <throat> inviting bombings, the fact is hey, most Paul, Americans view the bombings as extreme, as an irrational response to abortion. And the fact that they do may point out why the fight to have abortion declared illegal in our country has so far failed. Let me explain. As you know, we have tens of thousands of abortions each year. Well, imagine, if you will, if tens of thousands of, let's say, five-year-olds were being executed each year. Certainly no one would be complaining if a pipe bomb were placed outside the building where those executions were taking place. Why, that person would be considered a national hero. The people committing the executions would be charged with murder, and anybody in government or elsewhere suggesting that executing five-year-olds be legal would be strung up from the highest tree. But, of course, there is no such public reaction to the notion of abortion. Because regardless of your personal view, you must admit most Americans ready to dissolve his name out, ready to push in on one. Yet a person, or abortion is the same thing as killing a born baby. Dissolve, push in. And because most Americans don't believe that, that's why abortion remains legal. And those who would bomb clinics to make their points are viewed as nothing less than criminal <clears throat> extremists. You see, the abortion battle is over whether the fetus is human, and a bombing is a futile and situated demonstration. 
anyone's humanity. Fade to black. Mm. Band dissolve one. Mike's cue. That's all the time we so have for now. Thanks for watching. watching. Ready to dissolve From parts series, two with commentary cards. Yourself and each other. Good night. Good night. Dissolve cards. For a copy of Jerry Springer's commentary, send your request no, in a self-addressed stamped envelope to commentary.